Hey, what's going on guys? It is Key Dern here. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a farming tree run on RuneScape. Um, I'm no expert farmer or anything like that, but uh, I couldn't seem to find a really clear guide. And I thought that maybe it would other people would benefit from having this information. So first, you can start off from anywhere. Uh, what you're going to need is five super compost, five saplings of any tree, um, and how you get these saplings is you just use the tree seed that you would like on a plant pot and then um, water it with a watering can and then it'll turn into a sapling in your bank. And uh, you're also going to need five more super compost and five fruit tree saplings and juju teleport spirit bag is optional but I highly suggest it. it's about 2k on the GE but the first one we're gonna go to is Taverly and you just saw how to get to this tree from the lodestone you're gonna want to check the tree for health and then you're gonna want to clear it for new crops and once your guys done digging up the tree you're gonna want to use super compost on the patch you're going to want to use your sapling on the patch and then you're going to want to go to the Falador lodestone. Now it is faster to bring actual teleports but I'm just showing you how to get there from the lodestones just in case you know you don't have access to teleports blah 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 you don't want to fill up your inventory you know that kind of stuff so I'm just going to show you from the lodestones because it's a little bit uh, more accessible to all the players so yeah and then we're gonna go you saw how to get here from the lodestone there um, check for health clear yes alright so I'm gonna use this use this and then you are gonna wanna go to Lumbridge now I highly suggest doing about one tree run a day because they're pretty expensive and then to counteract the cost of the trees you should do herb runs throughout the day um, just three to four herb runs of you know some highly prof ooh looks like we got a dead tree here this is good cause, well not good but I can show you what you need to do you just need to clear it and then just plant your new one and you can pay these people to watch your trees so they don't die but it's like I've only had a few trees die on me in my whole time playing scape so it's not I don't know if it's really worth it um, so I'm not gonna be including it in my guide because I don't personally use that feature but um, yeah, I'm sure you could look up on the wiki or something if you do, if you are worried about it. It might be worth it for like magics and stuff. I've never planted those because I don't really have the level, but yeah. So anyway, that was the Falador, Taverly, and Lumbridge one. And then you're going to want to go to the Varrock Lodestone and head up here. And we'll get to fruit trees in a minute, I promise. Um, check health on this one. And as you can see, it's really fast EXP. <laughs> 7k just for that. I'm sorry if you can hear my cat. Yeah, he, uh, he likes to make a lot of noise. <laughs> but anyway, let's head back up here. Um, and then from there, I'm assuming, this is assuming that you've done Tree Gnome Stronghold, I believe it is, to use these teleport trees otherwise you won't have access to these ones so after that um, after that if you haven't done tree gnome stronghold just um, ignore this next part but if you have you're gonna want to go run up to the G quick go through these railing or teleport with the tree first then go through these railings and then you're gonna wanna follow this guy and this will be our first fruit tree of the video here. Um, so 
we're going to want to go down here and here is the fruit tree I want to check the health on that and then um, fruit trees actually have um, usually have stuff that you can pick off of the trees so what you're going to want to do is come over here to the tool leprechaun and melt them then you're going to chop down the tree and clear it and then you are going to want to use your super compost of course and your fruit tree of choice and then you are going to want to go to back to follow this follow this guy back it looks like we are actually going to get a level here which is really nice at the lower levels I usually get a farming level every tree run which is pretty nice um, yeah so super easy do it once a day it takes like I don't know we'll see how long it takes after the video is over I suppose but anyway right when you teleport here to the number two which is the gnome stronghold you're gonna want to come up here right above the agility course and check the health on this tree and yeah we are definitely gonna get a level which is awesome um yep pick these same as before Ooh, abyssal whip I haven't seen that in forever <laughs> this patch needs to oh I didn't clear the stump my bad um, oh my gosh oh okay <laughs> um, yeah plant that note these and then you're going to head so here's the teleport tree that you came in on. You're going to head directly southwest from there. Um, past this little bank area. And right there is going to be where the next tree is. I'll check the health on that. And boom. 67 farming. Now, if you don't do your herb runs... Farming can be very, very expensive. Um, oh, by the way, next we're going to want to go to Catherby. Uh, you can just go there by the lodestone. Um, some kind of magics. Ooh, I got 67 farming. So you can see my goal is for 75 because that's magic trees. I would like to switch to those after I get the level because those will be uh, very handy. But anyway, um, next we're going to check the health on this tree right here. Uh, pick the leaves. And these leaves aren't worth very much at all. Um, but, you know, every little bit helps. And the curry trees actually aren't that expensive. That's why I use those. Um, and you can actually do the regular tree runs twice a day. Um, like the yew trees for example that I was doing um, but you can only do the fruit trees once per day but I I really just suggest doing them all at once because otherwise unless you're going for like maximum exp and you want to get 99 like as quick as possible and you have a ton of money then by all means go for it but if you uh, if you just aren't f loaded with cash and you, uh, you know aren't in too big of a rush to get 99 I suggest just doing one of both each day you know so and my cat just climbed up on my keyboard hey bud can you get down please anyway so from the lodestone you're gonna run up here past the house portal up towards the coast alternatively you could go to our dune and go to the ship south of the teleport there oh I need to note these but uh, yeah the lodestone is just as easy and then you know, want to pick these leaves and there are two more fruit trees actually that I'm not going to be showing in this video because one of them is a pain to get to and that's outside of well unless you have teleport crystals I suppose but it's outside of um, the elf camp um, in the elf place, the elf swamps there, um, 
and I'm not going to be going to that one just because it's a pain in the butt. And uh, there's also one in the Elf City, but um, not a lot of players have access to that, and I don't personally use it, so um, I'm just going to show you, you know, the five basic ones. So uh, you're going to want to use your teleport bag if you bought one, and then you're going to want to come down here, climb over this, I think. Yeah, isn't it down here? Hold up. I don't even know. What is wrong with me? Wow. I actually don't know. Is it this? Oh no, it's right here. It's right here. My bad. Totally my bad. That was a complete fail. So yeah, as you can see, I don't use this one very much, so apologize about that. It's just kind of a pain to get to, but oh my gosh, can you not? So anyway, I do apologize about that. Maybe I'll try to cut that out of the video. But anyway, that is going to be your tree run, and um, you know, not too bad at all. Uh, takes about 10 to 15 minutes and you get tons of farming XP. I gained about a level and a half there. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope this guide helped you a lot. And uh, if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. I'll wait and uh, subscribe. More RuneScape videos to come in the future. Thanks, guys.